Okay, guys, so we just finished talking about Freytag's Pyramid, okay? Remember, we're talking about the archetypes of stories that we see over and over in our, I guess, just in human behavior, okay? So there's something about these stories that we're, as humans, we're repeating over and over. And the Freytag's Pyramid, as much as we see it over and over, the rise in action, the fall in action, that is a very simple uh, a story process that, yes, it would fit everything because really the description of that archetype is it's pretty straightforward. Okay. So I want to talk about a more complex version, more of a comprehensive. It includes more and it's more specific about exactly what happens in a story. Okay. And the nice thing about the thing that I'm going to be talking about uh, is it actually gives a very deep psychological reason as to why we might find those stories that we see over and over so compelling and why we might we feel that it means more to us than say Freytag's pyramid okay so i want to start off by talking about this okay it's a clock uh yeah i haven't had a clock in this room since i started but there is a clock in my room now but essentially, I want you to think about this archetype of storytelling, okay, which we'll get into, as if it were a clock, okay, where you start right here, and as time passes, our character's journey takes us through the circle in this way, okay, and it keeps going, it keeps going, and it keeps going, and in this story archetype, our heroes always come back to the place they started. Okay, so as we're talking about this, uh, I want you to think about it as the events of the story will go through a single rotation of a clock. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So the type, the story archetype that we're going to talk about, or what people call this story archetype, is there's a couple things that people call it. One of the things that people call it is the monomyth, okay, mono meaning one, myth meaning story, okay, so the one story, because that's meant that this one story is told over and over, or we also more commonly know it as hero's journey, okay, I don't know why my day is weird like that, but, okay, also known as the hero's journey. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm not going to get into the really the deep details. Actually, I found an awesome video that can kind of show you that, but I just want to set you up so that that video makes more sense to you. Okay, so essentially the mono myth or the hero's journey is represented by, like I showed you, a clock. Okay, we start here. Okay, that is where we see our hero. Typically our hero is, like I said, I won't go too much into detail here, but our hero is normal uh, without really, not any special thing about our hero at this point. They're kind of an everyday average Joe at this point. Okay. And like I said, like a clock, as the story progresses, our hero goes through these individual numbers and each individual number represents a specific um, a plot point or an event in the history or in the story, okay? So we can actually draw a line down. Oh, no, my bad. We want to draw a, draw a line across the side here first, okay? So if our hero starts here at the top, okay, we would call this area, okay, order, or the ordinary world. Okay. So everything makes sense to the hero in this world. Okay. And as the hero moves along, the hero gets to a point in the story where the hero is forced to go into chaos. Okay. Or the special 
A great example of this would be Harry Potter. Harry Potter begins the world in the story as an ordinary boy living under the stairs, okay? And as different things happen, there's a point where Harry Potter is forced to move away from the world that he knows, from order, the ordinary world where there's no magic, to chaos, okay? Or the special world. Now, the hero's journey is actually more than just two halves here, okay? Actually, let's keep going. So, as hero goes into the ordinary world, okay, and as they come back up, the reason that we come back up, heroes always come back to where they started, okay? But they come back changed from having been in the chaos or the special world, and they've improved themselves and they come back to where they were as an improved uh, hero. Okay. For Harry Potter, the school year ends. Harry Potter is returned to the Dudleys, but as a wizard rather than just a boy that lives under the stairs. Okay. There is another quadrant. Okay. We also have a line that draws right here. Okay. So this area here. So we have this side. And this side, okay? So this side, actually this line is actually representing personal growth, okay? Once the hero comes around here and passes number six here, passes this line, that is the line where the hero develops something, okay? A personal growth. They learn something about it themselves, okay? And number six is also... If you notice, it is the lowest part in the story. This is where the biggest challenge is waiting for them. Also, it's often called meeting of the goddess sometimes. Okay, So at this point, the hero has gone from their ordinary world okay, into the special world. And they're kind of figuring things out here. And this is where they face their biggest challenge. Okay, And as they finish uh, defeating this big challenge, they cross the line of self-discovery. They learn something very important about themselves. And then they celebrate and they come out on this side back to the ordinary world. And then they can return home. But having learned something new and having become something more special. Okay. Now, uh, if you notice, I haven't actually labeled any of the numbers. Because I'm hoping that with this foundational knowledge about the monomyth, uh, also known as the hero's journey. You can kind of watch the video that I have linked down below. There's video number two. It's, a, it's an awesome video by Ted Ed that kind of gives you visual as well as uh, kind of more details into what the monomyth individual numbers mean. Okay, so um, I'll assign your homework. Uh, I, I would like it done hopefully by, let's see. I'd like it done at the end of Thursday, but I'll post all that information below. So uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.